Need to create a fillable PDF, but you don't wanna mess around with expensive or complicated software? Well, good news. I'm about to show you how to do it completely free. No downloads required, no accounts to create, and no Adobe software needed. And the best part, it's way easier than you might realize. So let's get started. And before we can make a fillable PDF, we first need to make sure your form is in PDF format. This really depends on your starting point, so let me break down four different scenarios. First, if you're starting completely from scratch, you'll first need to create your form in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Include name, phone number, email, or any other info you need to gather, then save it as a PDF. Scenario number two, if you already have a form in Word or Google Docs, great, just save it as a PDF and you're ready for the next step. Scenario three, if your form is already in PDF format, but it just is not fillable yet, then there's nothing you need to do. I'll show you how to make that PDF form fillable in just a second. Then the fourth scenario, if your form is currently in good old fashioned paper format, like let's say you're a doctor's office and there's a paper version of a form that you've been using forever, and now you wanna make that form fillable. All you need to do is just scan in your paper form using a regular flatbed scanner, and then save it as a PDF, and you're ready for the next step. Now that your form is in PDF format, we can move on to the fun part, which is making it fillable. To do this, we'll be using pdfgear.com, a completely free online tool that does not require any downloads or signups or anything. Once you're at pdfgear.com, hover over PDF Online Tools at the top of the page, then look for Create Fillable PDF in the drop-down menu. If you don't see Create Fillable PDF in the drop-down, don't worry, software menus change from time to time, so just look for something similar and you'll find it. Now, once you click Create Fillable PDF, you'll see this. And like it says, just drag and drop your PDF form right here. Here's where the magic happens. You're going to add fillable form fields wherever you need them. So. For input fields like name, email, or phone number, you're gonna to wanna to insert text fields. Just click on text box, then place the field where it needs to go. You can then resize the text to make it look nice on your form. Then what you wanna do is double click on the text box field to style the text when people fill out your form. So click on appearance, and as you can see, the default font size is 10 pixels. You definitely wanna make it bigger than 10 pixels. Personally, I'd recommend at least 18 pixels, but I'll leave that up to you. If you need a checkbox or a drop-down list for your form, you can add those too. You can even add a signature field if you need someone to electronically sign your form. Now, quick note about alignment of your various form fields. Some software applications have what's called an invisible grid, which will help you automatically align things like checkboxes, for example. PDF Gear does not have an invisible grid, at least at the time of this recording. However, you can get things looking pretty good just by eyeballing it, and I guarantee you, no one is going to notice or care if your checkbox is off by one one hundredth of an inch. Once you've added all your input fields, now it's time to save and download your fillable PDF, and you can do that by clicking this big red button here. Now, before you send your form to anyone, take 10 seconds to test it. Just open the PDF and click inside each field to make sure everything works the way you expect. If something's off, you can go back and adjust it now instead of dealing with headaches later. However, you're not done yet. There's one final and very important step you need to take with your fillable PDF. And this final step was missing on every single YouTube video I watched on how to create a fillable PDF. And that step is providing a brief set of instructions to the people filling out this form, either simple written instructions or a quick 30 second video. And trust me, this one small step can save you a ton of headaches down the road. First, let's talk about how they actually get your form. You got two main options here. First, you can email it directly to them as an attachment, or number two, you can upload it to your website, then people can download it whenever they need it. If you choose this option, provide them with the exact link to where they can find your form on your site. Do not make them hunt all over your site trying to find your form. Make it easy for them. Now, once they've filled out your form, what do you want them to do with it? Do you want them to print it out and bring it with them to their appointment with you? If so, tell them exactly how to print out your fillable PDF form because they probably do not do this every single day. Or do you want them to email this form back to you? If so, does your form contain any potentially sensitive information? If it does not contain any sensitive information, then you'll probably be just fine having them email the completed form back to you. But if the form contains personal or financial or medical information, you'll want to use a secure provider like ProtonMail. If you're in healthcare, many patient portals are secure and HIPAA compliant. Now, it's beyond the scope of this video to cover encrypted and secure electronic communication, so that's something you'll need to research on your own, but I did want to make you aware of this. And lastly, does your PDF form need an electronic signature? 
Many people open PDFs in a web browser like Google Chrome or with the free Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now, the problem is not all free PDF readers allow users to electronically sign PDF documents. Some do and some don't. So, if your PDF form requires an electronic signature, the quickest and easiest way to make this foolproof is to have them sign your form using pdfgear.com. Just have them go to pdfgear.com, hover over the PDF online tools at the top of the page, then select Add Electronic Signatures. They can then drag and drop their completed PDF form in here. Then just scroll down and click the signature field. They'll then have three options for adding their e-signature. First, they can just write their name with their mouse, or if they're using a phone or tablet, they can use their finger. Or they can type in their signature. Or they can upload their signature if they already have a digitized version of their signature. Then click the red Download PDF button to save and download your signed PDF, and you're done. Not too bad, right? It's actually pretty simple once you know the steps. Now, if you're using forms to collect client or patient information, there's another skill that pairs perfectly with this, and that's letting people book appointments with you right on your website. No more back and forth emails, no more missed calls, just a smooth automated way to get people on your calendar. And in my next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to add online appointment schedule to your website step by step. You can watch that video right here.